Okay, Shalom Aleichem everyone. The topic today is going to be about Hoda'ah. Saying thank you to Hashem. As we know in Parashat B'Shalach, the Nei Israel said the special Shira of Az Yashir. And Chachamim were mitaken in certain instances to say thank you. And what I want to speak tonight is a couple of the halachot that have to do with Birkat HaGomel. And they're found in the Shulchan Aruch Siman Resh Yud Tet. So, uh, the tour starts off in Siman Resh Yud Tet the following. Arba'at Srichim Lehodot. Four people are obligated to say thank you. Yorde Hayam Keshi Alu Mimenu. Those who are coming out from the sea. And those who cross the desert. Somebody who was sick and got healed. Somebody who was trapped from the jail and he came out. And That's already famous discussions on the, uh, on the topic on, on who is obligated. Nowadays, we have many different scenarios than they used to have in the time of um, in the time of uh, in, in the time of Chazal, and the question is: Do those same halachot apply nowadays? Do those same halachot apply nowadays? So I want to first speak about I want to first speak about I want to first speak about one of the very common instances where there's a question whether one could say Birkat HaGomel. And then I also want to discuss about different scenarios nowadays and different, different details. So let's start off with the following scenario. This, is, this happens to be a very common question nowadays. And it's the question of does one say Birkat HaGomel while uh, if he travels from one, from one city to the next? So the tour brings a very famous machloket between Chachme Sfarad and Chachme Ashkenaz and Tzarfat. Chachme Ashkenaz and Tzarfat were of the opinion she'en mivarchin kesheolchim me'ir le'ir. One does not make a bracha of Birkat HaGomer when one travels from one city to the next. <clears throat> Why? Because when it says holchim idbarot archayav, those who cross the desert archayav, it's very common to have chayot rabot velistim. Nevertheless, the Ramban writes that bechol derech u bechol choli tzrichim lehodot. Every road a person has. A premise of a, a, a chazaka that they're dangerous, and the Shulchan Aruch indeed writes in Shulchan in Seif uh, in Seif Zayin that in Ashkenaz and Sarfat. We don't make a bracha when we go from city to city. And in Tzfarad, the minag is to make a bracha. Rabbi Moshe Feinstein in Igrot Moshe or Chaim Chelek Bet Simanun Tet says that doesn't mean that necessarily you're always going to have listim, but Chachamim made a takana that there is a chazaka there that it could happen. So we make a bracha that Hashem saved us from those sakanot of the listim and of the chayot. The question is nowadays, the question is nowadays, we don't have chayot velistim in most of our roads. If somebody's going to travel from uh, Lakewood to New York, or if somebody's going to travel from uh, Los Angeles to San Diego, or even from Montreal to Toronto, or Toronto to New York, etc., there are no chayot raot and listim baderech. One definitely travels a shiur enough to, to, to say birkat gomel 72 minutes, there's a big machloket whether the 72 minutes is in time or is in distance, because nowadays we have, as the poskim would call them, Mesilota Barzel, which is trains, and nowadays we have cars, so it goes much faster. So that the poskim say we go according to time. There's a shilot which whether it's Chak Ben Walid that already dealt with it in regarding to Avelut, whether that's considered Karov or not. And he was one of the first that discussed this question, and his maskana is that we go, we go according to the time. And uh, regarding Avelut, that it's considered within the Gimel Days Krovim, and so he considered even if he was further away distance-wise, but since by car it would take quicker, or in those days, whatever they used, it was quicker, so he, he held that was enough. But the question is, nowadays, what would be the halakha in regards to traveling on the roads where there is no Sakanat Chayot Belistim? 
So it's known that the opinion of Hagon Ravavadi Yosef Zecher Tzadik Bracha was to make a bracha of Birkata Gomel even nowadays because there's a sakana of there's a sakana of the roads. And what's the side nowadays the sakana is 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 car accidents. Lo Alena. So many people die from car accidents. In Chazon Ovadia, Hilchot uh, Brachot, he writes, this is the we call it Mishnah Harona, and in uh, in 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 um, in Dav Shin Pei, he writes that that indeed this was uh, the, the, he he brings a couple of poskim that say even nowadays this would apply. The issue being, Shiratu Shavot Emek Yoshua also seems to write that this is the uh, that the, that the, that this is the minhag to travel even if um, e- even if he has uh, e- even if he's um, if there if there's no sakana of listim. But nevertheless, the accepted minhag would 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 meet would be to make a bracha anyways because of the of the other dangers of the road. This emek Yoshua is found in Chelek Aleph or Achaim Siman Mem Aleph, Rabbi Yoshua Mahman. However, and uh, and I know there are other poskim. I think Rabbi Shlomo Amar is of this opinion as well. I I <coughs> it must be around twelve years ago. I asked this question to Maran Nagon Rav Yashiv Zecher Tzadik Libracha. I told him, for the, according to the, to the Minhag Sfarad, that we make a bracha on every single Holche Drachim. What would be nowadays when we don't have we don't have that sakana and there's no there's there's uh, there's no chayot raot? Was the takana made only for listim and chayot raot, or also or also for for any other dangers? That what was the what was the what was the dat chazal when they made this takana? He told me it's pashut. That according to Sfaradim, one should not make Birkat Gomel in such a case. And indeed, and indeed, the the Shelo Tuchivot Or Litzion in uh, in uh, Orachaim Chelik Bet writes the same thing. He says that the Takana of Chazal was not made for Listim and and for it was only made for Listim and Chayot and for bandits, but it was not made for for somebody who is um, who's who's traveling on the on the road and uh, and and has only Sakana of of. Uh, of Chayot and of uh, of of Teunat Rachim, and he, he writes. Rav Ben Bashol writes very interesting in in Perek Yud Dalit in Or Lishon Chelik Bet Perek Yud Dalit Sifkat and Mem Bet. He does write something interesting that if somebody is going to travel in a he, he I heard in from from the students of Rav Ben Bashol that people should should not make Birkat Gomel because of the uh, Sakana Rachim. The way it's written in Or Lishon. He says he adds a little bit of a caveat and he says that if it's going to be roads that are totally deserted, that means you don't see from one car to the next, which is very not common, but if, you, if you're traveling very late at night or deserted roads, then you could say that it's like, um, uh, th- th- then you could say you, you, you would be able to make a birkata birka gomel. Because then maybe there's a cheskat sakana because you're all alone on the roads. But uh, again, he said that maybe nowadays we still have a little bit of road. Now, everybody would agree that if somebody is traveling in the Shtachim, especially nowadays in dangerous territory, so it could be that, it could be that, 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 sure. The, so this was the, now, Place where there's a sakana of of chayot raot. Brings brings that this was the minhag already not the guy sakana in those days and the kafchaim brings it down that's against minhag svarad but minhag svarad was only because you had sakana that um, that rabbi uh, uh, Moshe Malka that he writes in. In 
day. So Rav Avadya says for those people... The um, that that indeed um, is is the minagna. Although Shulchan in in Seivav that it should be within three days, but uh, but but you, Chaim writes this was the minhag also. So that. Is that a people? Is that the minag? Is that They, they go up, and uh, since they're doing one mitzvah, he says, Two people who explain the halacha is enough. So Rabbi Ben Sinov Ashol says, enough kamina le halacha is that if a person has a choice to do it by Kriyata Torah or to go into a Bet Midrash where there's Talmidei Chachamim learning, that's what he should do. He should go in a Bet Midrash and say Birkata Gomel and in front of, in front of, in front of Talmidei Chachamim, as long as he's not Goren Bitul Bet Midrash. So he waits, let's say, till they're finished learning till the end of Seder and then he should say, he, he, he should, he should say, recite Birkat in front of them. That's a fascinating, that's a fascinating detail that many people don't pay, pay attention to. Now there's another very important detail in Birkat Gomel. Many people ask what happens if they went through an accident, gone into a car accident. Do they say Birkat Gomel? So the truth is the Shulchan Aruch brings, the Bet Yosef brings a machloket between Rabbi David Abu Draham and the Rivash. If when it says these four say Birkata Gomel, is it Dafka these four and no others? And this is what Rabbi David, Rabbi David Abu Draham, the Abu Draham writes that Acherim, others besides these four, anybody, any other, let's say a person gets into a car accident, it doesn't say Birkata Gomel. The Rivash in Shuvot, Siman Shin Lamed Zayin says no. The Rivash says, Sarich Levarech. That was the sakanot that they had in, in those days. But nowadays, if somebody has different sakanot, according to this, I guess, even to not Rahim nowadays, if somebody has a different sakanot that a person gets into and he was saved, he would have to make a special, uh, he would have to make a special birkata gomel. So there's a machloket between Rabbi David Abu Dram and Rivash. How are we posek the halacha? Maran brings down in the in the end of Siman Resh Yutet that since it's a machloket, tov levarech belo haskarat shemu malchut. It's good to make a bracha without haskarat shemu malchut. So if somebody asks you, of course, what's Maran's opinion regarding Pichat Gomer, you would have to answer him that 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 it's a uh, it's a mach, it's since it's a machloket, one does not make a bracha. One does not make a bracha. Now this happens to be a discussion in the Acharonim. The 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 Shiloto Chuvat of you of the great of Yuda Ayash was one of the Rabbanim in Algeria. Says that their minhag by them was to make a bracha on Birkata Birkata Gomel, even if they would be saved by a miracle and and, and by, by by any uh, by by any sakana that they were saved. And the reason why he writes is be, it, it, it seems to be is because even though Maran said not to make the bracha, he goes according to the Rivash. Now the Chida in Shiloto Chuvat Chaim Shal Chelik Bet Siman Tedvav. It's very strong about this. And he writes, we follow Maran. He says, We go after Maran. 
שבכל גלילות מערב הפנימי, מערב הפנימי is the, in, the, the inner מערב, which is, which is Morocco, and Turkey, and Eretz Atzvi, which is, uh, which is Eretz Yisrael, and it includes Chalab and everywhere else, ומצרים ושאר בנותיהם קיבלו עלי מוהרת מרן, everybody follows מרן. ולאור הורותיו ילכו, and we go according to this like, there's one of the chuvot where the chida really emphasizes the kabbalat piske maran, ועל פי חנו ועל פי ויסאו, therefore you don't make a bracha, he says, I, Rav Yehuda Ayash, which the chida used to call, Rav Yehuda Ayash, דבריו דברי אלוקים חיים, he says, לא כתב כן, why? Because in Algeria they would follow the rivash, because the rivash was from Algeria, so all of the psakim of the, most of the minhagim of Algeria came from the rivash, and that's why they would make a bracha. And the truth is, the Shilotu Shuvat Shoel Venishal, a Tunisian rabbi, in Chelek Dalet Siman Nun Aleph, also writes that, 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 um, that, that he, he writes not to make a bracha. And he says that instead, their minhag was that Shabbat, they would get up in the Echal and they would say, Modi Manach Nulach, Malkinu Al Nisecha, Vishuatecha Imanu, Vilu Fanyu Male Shirakayam. And then, and then they would say the, the Nishbat until Yishtabach, but they wouldn't end off with Shema Malchut. I don't know whoever wants to stand and wait for a person to finish saying that. But also the Sidur Betoved in, in Hilchot Birkat Gomel Ot Yudalet also writes that their minhag was to say Birkat Gomel. Although there were some Sfaradim, as we mentioned, that would, that would make Birkat Gomel in some cases. Rabbi Shalom Misas in his Shilotu Tshuvot, uh, Shemesh Umagen Chele Gimel writes, yes, one, 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 one should say Birkat Gomel. He writes this... Um, he, he, he writes this quite clearly in um, in Chelek uh, Gimel Siman Samer Gimel. He doesn't say that this was the Minhag. He says, yes, of course, Al Shar Nisimon makes Birkat Gomel. And it seems to be that there is a Kuntras Ale Hadas on the Minhagim of Tunisia that writes that they also follow this way. The Kafachaim writes in Otnun Bet that those who have the Minhag to say it with a Baracha should. However, as we mentioned, Gdolis Sfarat, Rav Avadi Yosef writes that, that, that we follow Maran, not to say with Shema Machut. Rav Ben Siyon of Ashaul at the end of Chelek Bet in uh, Siman Memvav, Ot Nun Zayin says not to make a bracha. And it seems to be that, that many follow the opinion of, of, of Maran, that only these four, and this, by the way, would be very consistent with what we said beforehand, that only whatever Chachamim were mitaken, which means Teunad Drachim is not part of it, and that one would not make Mirkat Gomel then, so it would be consistent with that opinion also, not to make a bracha b'shem achut, only exactly what Chachamim were mitaken. Uh, so others are going to say, okay, this is part of Chachamim were mitaken Teunad Drachim, but one could, one, one could be mechalek and say that it's not really... Uh, that it's not really similar. So these are just some of the some of the important yunim regarding birkata gomel. Number one, when somebody's traveling on the road, whether he should say birkata gomel every time he travels for seventy two minutes. There are many that say to make a bracha, but there are many that say not to, and therefore it's good to be yotze with somebody else doing birkata gomel. Also, in regards to Shar Nisim, if somebody gets into a car ask, a, a, accident, the Ashkenazim, the, the, the Mishnabura brings down the Minhag, is that they make a Birkat HaGomel by the Sfaradim. We mentioned many, most Sephardic Boskim say not to, not to make a bracha, and, uh, and, and we also mentioned that it's very important to say in front of 10 people, and two of them should be Talmidei Chachamim, and we mentioned that there's no time limit. Chazaku Baruch! Chazaku Baruch!